I hate Courtney. I don't think I've ever tried to hide that. It's not so much Island Courtney while she's competing, but for some reason the writers decide to make her the most obnoxious contestant of all time in all of her other appearances. Always complaining, yelling, and always getting into the competition by unfair means, and then her fans have the audacity to say that she was robbed. An island, sure, but in action, she took a warp pipe all the way to merge and you think I'm gonna feel bad for her when she gets eliminated? No way. With that being said, I have almost no qualms with Island Courtney, so this might be fun to begin with. Plus, she clearly has some hold over Duncan as she is able to convince them to vote Sadie off over DJ, and you may be able to justify it by saying, oh, they just didn't want to vote DJ off since he's in their alliance, but there's a lot more than that. Duncan loves Courtney, so she can get him to do whatever she asks. Now I have one chance to change an event in the story or change the version of the character given. Here at least we will need to change an event. Courtney will find Harold in the confessional rigging the vote and will pull him out to reveal it to Chris and Chris would eliminate Harold. Or if he doesn't want to, the bass certainly will. In the next challenge, Courtney would do the skiing challenge instead of Harold and Courtney just is a fighter as shown as in a lot of her action and world tour appearances, able to keep up with the best of the cast and a simple cut rope wouldn't beat her. She'd probably just commandeer the vehicle Heather was on before crossing it for a killer bass victory. Now, there are two avenues here we can take for the Screaming Gophers elimination. I think Heather could get Lindsay as well as Gwen to vote for Owen, only because it is Owen's fault that Trent was hurt in this challenge, and Heather could sway Owen to vote for Trent with some simple bribery. This is a first avenue and a lot more fitting for Heather compared to the second possibility where Heather just does nothing and gets voted out, so Owen would go home here. In the next episode when Eva and Izzy come back, Courtney would talk about how unfair it is but Chris would essentially say to cry about it with Eva telling Courtney to complain about it to her if she has a problem with it. Same things would go as in canon and despite Courtney being gifted, I doubt she could last over Eva and Lashana and Lashana would win immunity. Eva is voted out still. Episode 16 goes almost exactly as in canon, with Courtney throwing a fit over none of the chests opening up with her key that she obtained before Duncan says that they can have a romantic picnic with what he got. Trent is still eliminated here because of what Heather does. Episode 17 and things would go almost exactly as in canon, with Heather and Lashana getting immunity and maybe Courtney as well. The girls try to form an alliance to vote someone off, but it fail as in canon with Jeff's name coming up instead of Owen since Owen is in here, and Courtney would take offense to Bridget putting Duncan up. For elimination and we know what happens when Courtney gets offended so Bridget say goodbye. Episode 18 and Courtney and Heather would get into a fight while racing to which Courtney would win and Heather would steal Lindsay's bike before crossing the finish line after Courtney to which Heather would get the news that she's eliminated because she crossed the finish line last to which Heather tries to give the bike to Lindsay and tells her to cross the finish line now but she doesn't do it and Heather gets forced on the boat of losers and taken away. Episode 19 and things would go even better than in canon with Courtney and Duncan being great together and when Chef arrives, Chef is no match for Courtney, and even Duncan is a bit scared of Courtney here. Gwen still beats the real killer, and DJ gets eliminated for the lamest death. Episode 20, and Courtney teams up with Lindsay, and Courtney is shot by Izzy, which spells Izzy's doom, as Courtney's wrath is the worst thing you can inflict on someone. Izzy is eliminated like in canon. Episode 21, and the teams would be Courtney and Lindsay, Jeff and Gwen, and Lashana and Duncan. Lindsay would get on the nerves of Courtney, and wouldn't do that well in the totem assembling challenge, and Duncan and Lashana would get immunity like in canon. Courtney would get her team to vote Lindsay, eliminating her. Episode 22 and Lashana still goes sadly. Episode 24 and the teams would be Gwen and Courtney and Jeff and Duncan. Without Owen's nose for sticky buns, I think Courtney and Gwen win pretty handily after Courtney does what Heather did to Duncan, and Duncan is chosen to be eliminated by Chef, to which Courtney would say how it's outrageous that he'd do that and he would call their lawyers on his behalf since it breaks the rules of the game. Episode 25 and sadly Jeff will probably chicken out first. What made Gwen and Cannon work so hard was how much she wanted Heather gone, but right now there is no Heather so it'd be between Jeff and Gwen, and though Jeff is very chill, he can't handle many challenges that are about physical pain or eating gross things, so Jeff is eliminated here sadly. Some people say Gwen and Courtney is the ideal finale of All Stars. I am not that person but Courtney should win this finale pretty easily. It was honestly more fun than I thought being able to use a character who just runs the whole game. I mean, it feels great just to have a powerful character that I don't exactly have to think about how I can convince people how they win. Because if Harold didn't rig the votes, there is a high likelihood that Courtney could win. 
So with that, if you think this is contrived, leave those thoughts in the comments, make the day yours, and I'll see you next time with the final pre-merge contestant, Harold.